episode number three of our Meet the Athlete series for this year's World's Strongest Man, and we're taking a look at Spencer Remick from the USA. Now, Spencer excites me, Lasse, and I don't want you to take that the wrong way. <laughs> but Spencer has such a great story, I think, for his sort of journey to the world's strongest man. I'm so, so happy to see him get this opportunity. I honestly can't think of a more deserving person when it comes to just keep plugging and trying. It's that persistency that you have to respect. Spencer's really worked hard to get this opportunity. Let's take a look at some stats that we have on Spencer. So Spencer's first ever international competition was a Strongman Champions League in Canada back in 2017. And he also appeared for the first time at OSG that year. And he placed third overall, which qualified him for the Giants Live North American Open in 2018, where he ended up placing six. Can you remember who won that competition? Was it me? I think so. I hoped you'd know. <laughs> Let me check. It's bad when you don't remember your own comps. It's funny that we remember other people's careers better than yours. <laughs> so he went back to OSG in 2019 where he had his worst performance there, finishing ninth. He was back once again in 2021 where he placed second behind Pavlo Kordiak. And Pavlo's gone on to do exceptionally well. And then in 2022, Spencer's come back to OSG again and he finally got the win he was looking for. One thing that is worth pointing out though, in 2021, he was tied on points with Pavla Kordiaka, but he lost out on the last event rule, which is the Atlas Stones. Obviously, Pavla beat him in the Atlas Stones. So, and he went on and did a Giants Live. He did, he did. the Strongman Classic last year. He did very well, seventh, yeah. yeah. Beating some guys that have been to World's Strongest Man mm. before. But what I love about Spencer is that he didn't, think right i'm in now that's it i'll get to go to all these big shows he came back again and i love that about him absolutely you have to admire that and i think it's kind of testament to his personality yeah. and his determination but it should also be like what a lot of other athletes are looking to do themselves you know mm. you shouldn't think just because you've had one pro show that you're there no. you've got to keep proving yourself you've got to keep winning and that's what spencer did and Honestly, we're both so happy to see him get this invite to World's Strongest Man. So let's take a look at the events for the heats and discuss how we think Spencer can do. We're starting off with the loading race, then we have the deadlift, the log ladder, the Conan's wheel, kettlebell toss, and obviously the stones to finish with. Now Spencer for me is a good, well-rounded athlete. Mm. Sort of, I think some of the best events for Spencer are moving events. Yeah. Seems to be pretty quick at kind of yokes, super yokes, farmers. car walks, farmers, mm. frames, etc. Solid presser, solid deadlifter. He doesn't really have any standout events, but he doesn't have the standout weaknesses either, does he? Yeah, and I think this is going to be, you know, he, he's that kind of athlete that's not got, you hear me talk about it, weapons. Weapons. We need some big weapons to really, really score big points at these level competitions. You come down one level and being that well-rounded, consistent athlete is more than enough. But to compete with the monsters, mm. you need a couple of events that you can really score big points. And this is just the, the only area that Spencer's lacking a little bit. He doesn't have one or two events that he can beat anyone in the world at. And I think that could cost him ultimately at a place in the final. But if he gets everything right, strategies on point and performs every single event at 100%. Who knows? Because again, although he doesn't have those weapons, he doesn't have weaknesses either. And you never know what's going to happen in a group. Who would have thought in, you know, last year, Evan wouldn't have made it out of that group? It's you absolutely true. Know. So you, know, you can never give up based on who you, you see You should on never paper, give up. And like I said, he's got that consistency to keep picking up points. And if he can do that, keep applying the pressure on other athletes, you never know what happened. On paper, I don't see him as a favorite to go through, but he, the, thing, the exciting thing for Worlds this year is there's really no weak athletes. No. And that makes it very, very interesting because when you've got a clear favorite and when you have someone that's clearly gonna come first, let's say, and someone that's clearly gonna come last, you've just got this battle between a couple of guys for the next places. Whereas right now, it's so, you know, things could change after every single event. And it make, it just takes one mistake from one of the better athletes where that consistent athlete can then just apply that pressure. Mm. And I think he can really 
go to World's Strongest Man with no pressure, first time at Worlds. You know, when you look at those big internationals, he's been mid-table. So yeah. no one's going to be looking at him thinking, this guy's got to go there and think he's going to be making the final. There's not that kind of pressure. He's got the experience that he's competed a lot now. I think Spencer goes there, does very well, doesn't put the pressure on himself. And that way he can make himself dangerous. He has a chance of making the final. I think he'll just be outside that, if I'm totally honest. Yeah. I think, you know, if he can get himself into that stone off, who knows? Wish him all the best, but looking forward to seeing how he does. And as I've said many times, love being proven wrong. And we get to see him at a Giants Live later this year as well. So that is Spencer Remick, guys. He's his first ever World's Strongest Man. Make sure you go and give him lots of support. Comment below. Let us know how you think he's going to do. And as always, like, share, subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you guys next time. Stay strong. <laughs>